Welcome to TV Glimpse. On this recap, Chicago PD Season 9. Intelligence assemble at the start of Season 9 to find the men responsible for Burgess' brutal kidnapping and assault. But the situation went south when Upton killed Roy to save Boyd, and Boyd stopped her from calling it in. Instead, he buried the body and told Upton to keep it secret, which she struggled with during the first few episodes. Halstead picked up and his partners rattled emotions and confronted Boyd. All three tried to keep a handle on the situation, even as FBI agent North closed in on the, the truth about Roy. North propositioned Halstead to turn on Boyd, or risk him and Upton going down with the sergeant. Just when it seems like the trio will lose their badges and face criminal charges, Halstead uncovered incriminating evidence against North. He blackmailed the agent into dropping the investigation finally putting the Roy situation to bed. The couple, who got engaged in season 9 premiere, didn't wait long after wrapping up the Roy investigation to forge ahead. That evening, they went to the car house and elope in their street clothes. We also see Edward first met Celeste, their flirtations at the bar turned into one steamy night together. But after learning that Celeste was a social activist who was also critical of the police, Edward decided to keep his real job a secret from her. They bonded over their shared experience with racism, with Atwater pretending to be a regular citizen. When he came clean to her, it didn't go over well. Celeste was more upset that he lied to her for so long, insisting that him being a police officer wouldn't have mattered because she cared about him. Their emotional back and forth ended with their pair breaking up. Borges found a unique family situation with Rusek and Michaela, the younger she decided to raise after her father murdered the rest of her family. However, their world was rough when they learned that Michaela's paternal uncle, Theo, had filed for full custody. Things came to a head when Borges and Theo faced off in a court battle for custody. Theo pulled out all the stops, even digging into Borges' medical record to prove she was unfit to raise Michaela. Borges delivered a passionate plea about her special relationship with Michaela, and that convinced the court to grant her full custody. Borges and Rusek's celebration was cut short when they found their babysitter Gabby bleeding on the floor and Michaela missing. We learned that Theo had been bribed by Michaela's father, who staged her abduction to pay off his prison debt. The sensitive nature of the case saw Rosek and Burgess at their wit's end trying to find her. Both disagreed on how to approach the handoff. Rusek pushed back against working with the kidnappers, believing they would take the money and run. Although he was correct, he nearly jeopardized the case when he tailed and killed one of the accomplices. The team quickly traced the remaining co-conspirator to a junkyard and Borges found Michaela alive. Borges also invited Theo to go with them to Chicago Med, suggesting peace between the warring adults. Meanwhile, Boyd first encountered Anna Avalos in episode 12, the latter ensuring him that she could help intelligence bring down Los Temidos gang, when the undercover operation nearly went sideways. It became clear that Anna had a personal connection to the case. She admitted to being initiated into the gang and Boyd bowed to get her out of that life. By episode 16, she honed her undercover skills and was now working for a bakery owner named Escano, suspected of using his business as a cover for a cartel. Intelligence investigated a shooting outside the bakery as Anna worked from the inside. Anna was still undercover at the end of the episode when Escano revealed a hint about Anna's past, but now that she is working with Boyd and trusts her. With Boyd still trying to bring him down, this case is far from over. Season 9 finale found intelligence scrambling to bring down Scano, who was going scorch earth on his whole operation. While Upton will be just fine after the explosion which briefly knocked her out, the same could have been said about the investigation. Scano was still on the run, and Anna feared that he would find her and kill her like he has everyone else who betrayed him. Boyd promised to get her into witness protection once she spoke to an assistant district attorney. Meanwhile, he ordered the team to pull all their evidence to present to ASA Chapman, who said they didn't have enough for an arrest warrant. That's when Boyd threatened to ruin her career if she didn't help, and Chapman granted a search warrant instead. The team searched Scanner's bakery, where Boyd and Halstead found him bleeding to death on the floor. With his last breath, he told them Anna had stabbed him, sending Boyd into action to save her. He ordered the scene to be locked down, only intelligence allowed in, and said they were going off the books for this one. Halstead confronted Boyd, reminding the surgeon of their conversation from a few months ago, in which he said he would reach out before going off the deep end. The rest of intelligence searched for evidence as normal, unaware that Anna was their main suspect. 
Meanwhile, Boyd tried his best to help cover up Anna's involvement, even cleaning blood from her stuff. While Hustle went after Boyd, Upton chose to follow her husband, telling him, where you go, I go. Boyd tracked Anna to a gas station and watched as she caused her a car accident. Knowing she was about to go down for murder, Anna pointed her gun at Boyd, while he desperately tried to talk her down. But there was no getting through to her. Hearing the approaching sirens, Anna fired on Boyd, forcing Upton and Halstead to open fire on Anna. Elsewhere, the rest of intelligence closed in on what may be the biggest drug bust of their careers. They found pounds and pounds of paraphernalia stashed in the basement and celebrated the unexpected victory. That was juxtaposed against frantic scenes of Boyd telling Anna to stay with him while they were both rushed to Chicago Med for treatment. Boyd's injuries were minor and he focused on her survival, but Anna died on the operating table, leaving Boyd devastated and holding back tears as he stared at her body. Well, that was all for this season. Hope you enjoy season 10 of Chicago PD. Thanks for watching TV Glimpse. Don't forget to subscribe and watch other recaps.